We're here to meet a friend. Come in on the train. Nothing come in on the train except a couple of crates and a... <laughs> Coffee? Our friend. Well, back home now, and the return of train services to the central goldfields town of Clunes has prompted celebrations and some misgivings. The station has been refurbished, but it's now missing, according to some locals, one of its best architectural features. The station's veranda is no more. It's ended up as scrap metal. Plenty of people came to see the first train stop at Clunes railway station in nearly two decades, but some noticed something missing. But I understand that the original um, veranda that no longer is here is actually no longer also in existence. That's disgusting. They should have just kept it. And if they kept that, that would have been fantastic for the station. The station was built in 1875 and this is what the historic veranda looked like. Councillor Don Henderson says he thought it was going to be preserved, but instead it has been sent to the scrap metal heap. Oh, it's just it's just a travesty. It's just wanton destruction, in my view. It was a metal structure. It was of no value. So it couldn't be repaired. Uh, heavily corroded. So a really appropriate place to go, I think. The veranda had to be taken down to make way for a new platform as part of a $7 million refurbishment. It just wouldn't work. If people got off the train, they'd bang their head on the veranda roof. In the Victorian era, things were a bit smaller. Don Henderson did manage to save the veranda posts and bring them to nearby Creswick Station where he hopes to restore them. Those sections there are as good as the day they were put there virtually. Clunes is renowned for its historic look and while not everything can be preserved, a return to daily rail services is a welcome revival. Well we're entering uh, an era of rail unseen for a long period of time in the past. V-Line in six years have doubled their patronage. Now that's never been seen in Australia before. As for the Clunes railway station, a replica veranda is on the cards. While there's some division in the community as to what happened to the veranda, one thing's certain. Everyone is glad the town has got its train back. Kirsten Vaness, ABC News, Clunes.